more and more companies are adopting AI, but there are a lot of things they are lacking in the structure. For example, AI architect, AI engineers. But compared to AI engineers, AI architects are more lacking. It's almost impossible to find in the current. So today I'm going to talk about why AI architects is important and why how you can prepare your your skills for that, so that you probably can be better. Better in a better position in the future market. So, before we dive in, if you would like to receive more technology, especially about AI analysis like this, don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is my greatest encouragement to make more videos like this. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. So, what's AI architect? What's AI architect? AI architect is the person they can look into the problem. Look at. They can look into the business problem and to see if there are any AI solutions to that problem. For example, maybe your companies are doing certain thing a defect. Your company have kind of invested a lot of human resource to defect detection of your product. Then you find it's really really expensive. Then you don't know if AI can help. So that is where the AI architect come in comes in and come into. They will come in to say, oh, your product actually your defect detection can be done by. Computer vision, which is we can train deep deep learning model to to check to take the, just to, to take your the photo of your product and send it to the model. Model will tell you if this product is uh, flaw or it's untech or it's perfect, so that you don't need to hire so many people to do that. So this is and why we don't really have AI architect now is because now a lot of companies they they have actually a lot of problems. They potentially can be solved by AI, but they don't have Not enough knowledge about AI, about data science, and also the data science data scientists they have、uh, a lot of、uh, knowledge about AI, but they don't know the the problem that in in a very specific domain. So that's what's lacking now, and also AI architect is just not not only cannot just have the data science knowledge, they also need to have some experience of how to apply AI, apply the latest machine learning algorithms. To solve the problems, so this is the, what we currently lacking. We currently have really big gap of academic and the industry, and in the future we definitely need to bridge this gap to bring up the a lot of existing technology to the old industries to make their operation more efficient. So that's why AI architects are important, and、uh, they will be very, very, very in demand in the future. It's actually very in demand now, but it will be even more in demand in the future because we are in a transformation of、uh, maybe you can call it industrial 4.0, but I I would just say we are transforming from only co big companies using AI to many every company will be using AI in the future. So who will allow the who empower the small companies to use AI? The person will be an AI architect. So that's how. This is important, and how you can prepare for that? Definitely, machine learning, machine learning knowledge, deep learning, they kind of foundation knowledge that you need to have. You need to study that. You need to know how to program. You need to be a data science first. Then gain more and more experience in that, and always think about how to apply, how to apply machine learning algorithm to solve the real world problems. And by solving more and more real world problems, you will have. Better knowledge of how to con convert the existing academic algorithms to the real world problems, and more importantly, you need to always think big. Always think big. Think big. How how you can apply AI technology to solve these ex existing problems? Always look for problems, not technology. Not not te looking. Oh, I I like this re deep reinforcement learning, and I, I want to use this technology to solve problem. No, you shouldn't think like this. You should think what kind of problems are there. What kind of problems the people really have, and I, after identifying the problems, then start、uh, searching for a solution. It's not necessarily will be the most sexy algorithms in deep learning. It may be very simple like logistic regression, but whatever algorithms they can solve the problems, they will be the best one. So training this kind of thinking will help you. Will help you be a very very good AI architect. So now nowadays like. Most people, people in the academic, the people like in search of、uh, tuning maybe algorithm for 0.5 percent, one percent more accurate. But in the real world, 
sometimes in a lot of applications, increasing the algorithm accuracy for for 0.5 percent is not that important. It's actually more important how you can break down the problems, how you can use the correct algorithm to solve that. So that's what we actually need right now. So I will encourage you to practice to to acquire these kind of skills. Okay, so that's a lot for today. And if you would like to receive more AI trends analysis, AI technology analysis, then analysis, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, take care. I will see you next time.